Welcome to another Quadrant VS video, and today I want to show you how to create a scheduled task. Uh, the reason why you want to do something like this is if you have a uh, particular application that you want opened at a certain time of the day, um, or you want a particular service or program to start uh, at a particular time of the day, or the reason why I'm really showing you this is uh, an application that I want opened all the time. It should be running 24-7 but it keeps crashing. So I want to set up a process that's going to open that application up and it's going to try to open that application up at a certain at certain intervals to make sure it is open and if it's not it will open the program up. Uh, so I will show you that right now. Um, as you see I already created it and I'm going to go ahead and delete it for the sake of the video because uh, this is properly set up but um, you know just for the sake of the video just to show you that it works. So if you get open task scheduler in your Windows 7 operating system or Windows Vista operating system alright or Windows 8 whatever whoever has that crap and you want to go ahead and create a basic task or create a no create a task create task this will give us more options we're gonna call it Plex start because that's really what it's for for me anyway all of a sudden I can't type You want that option, you'll start getting error messages if you try to have it run whether or not the user is logged in or not. Uh, you, this is up to you, but some programs really don't need admin privileges to run, so that's up to you to check or not. We're going to run it for Windows 7 because that's what we have. And i got to watch out where I click, uh, but make sure that's checked. I'm going to go to Triggers. Now this is very important. You want it on a schedule. You want it daily. For the sake of the video, we're going to do it at 46, 46, 16. Okay. That's when it's going to start anyway. But it's all up to you when you want that program to start. And again, we want this to happen every so often. We want to try to open it every so often. So we're going to go ahead and leave that at reoccur every one day. That's just leave that by default for now because that'll change when we go down here repeat the task every for my application 15 minutes and we want it to run uh, forever so we're gonna check indefinitely alright and you don't want any of these checked uh, because you don't want it to expire um, and you don't uh, wanna stop the task for any reason um, again this is my this is what I'm trying to have set up, but you know, let's just say a, a ca application keeps crashing, and you want it to try to open it every chance the program gets or the task gets, just just in case it's closed. Because again, it's not going to scream to the server and say, "Hey, I crashed! Open me back up." It's not going to do that. You have to tell it what to do. So uh, make sure all these are unchecked. Make sure you just have it repeat task every 15 minutes, because Plex really has a crashing problem, and I want to get down to the bottom of it. Because uh, my mentality is they're not going to fix the issue. So click on OK. All right, now you want to go to Actions, go to New. And again, um, it d varies on what you want to do. Um, but this is one way to open up a task. I just decided to make this one video on how to create a scheduled task to open a program, especially for Plex users. So we're going to go to Browse. This is the program we're going to search that's going to open. Uh, um, so we want Plex Media Server in my case, but it could be Notepad or some program in your case. Maybe you want Media Player to open, but we're going to uh, have Plex Media Server. Make sure it's an executable. So application, uh, Plex Media Server, click Open. All right, start a program. That's the action. That's the program. Or you could have a script or a batch file or whatever. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. Click on Conditions. Uh, make sure everything is correct here. You definitely want it, want both of these checked, so that's going to run no matter what. And then you can even have it start if the, if you have a specific network that's available or online. But we're going to leave all these um, at default. You want to go to settings. You want to allow it to be ran on demand just in case you want to manually start it. Um, we're going to uncheck that because we don't want it to stop. Because um, again, this is my media server. I need it up 24/7. Um, and um, 
if it's if the running task does not end when we request it for stop it um, we don't have it requested to end so we're not gonna have that checked we just don't want any conflicts we don't want it to delete and you also want in your in my case do not start a new instance but either way Plex will not let you run double instances so we're gonna go ahead and click on OK and now we have a scheduled task that is going to be starting in about a minute or so it'll try to restart or execute the command or execute the task every 15 minutes because Plex crashes so randomly I have it I have it to do that um, I have it to try to start every 15 minutes because it, it can crash in 15 minutes, it can crash in an hour, it can crash in 30, it can crash in 4 seconds. So, um, it, it's just so random. Um, but 15 minutes uh, is probably probably the best for it. So we're going to go ahead, wait for 3.45.56 and you'll see the task running. Right now it's running because I forced opened it. Well, not forced opened it, but I opened it uh, on demand. We're going to go ahead, close it. And uh, when the time comes around, I'll start the video again. All right, the time is about to come. You'll see it open right down here in the system tray. So we're at, f it's supposed to be 46.16. We're going to see it open in a couple seconds here. There we go. You see the Plex icon? It just opened right there. And what the task is designed to do again is try this task. It's going to run this task every Okay, I thought my server crashed. I was like, whoa, because the spinning wheel hats froze. But <laughs> um, but what this task is designed to do, it's going to start the server or attempt to start the server every 15 seconds. Now, like I said, Plex will not allow a double instance to run. It'll just, it just won't run it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just run a task manually and just try to make it crash just to make sure it's stable. And I did this before, so I'll just keep clicking run. I just want to see if I get like an error or a blue screen and this is basically gonna check to make sure it's stable so when it's when it tries to start the task in 15 minutes Plex doesn't error out and close and crash and then I gotta wait 15 minutes for it to start so and as you see I'm not getting any error messages and Plex is still open I hover my mouse over it it doesn't disappear like it usually does so there we go um, again I do that just to make sure it's stable because it's gonna run it's gonna run the task even when the program is open and like I said Plex, I'm having problems with Plex media server, it'll crash on you. No reason why, Plex forms have no answers, and my mentality is Plex will not fix the issue, so I have to. Um, so this is especially for Plex users, if you are having a problem with a program and it's crashing, and you need to fi find a way to have it start back up automatically, use this. This is going to be your friend for applications that just don't want to stay up. Um, uh, again, your, your programs are crashing. Task scheduler is your best, uh, it's your best friend. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below and, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, see you in my next, uh, I don't do these outros really well, so see you guys. <laughs>